The, the reason that I started this project of growing nutritious food was because of the COVID-19 pandemic that was killing black people disproportionate to any other race of people. And I just couldn't sit in my house and, and, and feel scared and, and powerless. It, it's always something to do, you know? It's just something to do and I, I, I got up off my dusty butt and got to work. This was the most hardest thing I ever had to do. It was a lot of tears and doubts and everything, but here it is. This is Avis Wanda McClinton here in North Hills, Pennsylvania, in my backyard. Um, the meeting I attend is a uh, Abington Fringe meeting in Jenkintown, Pennsylvania. My mother and father are both North Carolinians. They left the uh, Jim Crow South to make a better life for them, um, both of them separately, and they may, met here and produced me. Um, my father was a World War II vet, and after he got out the war, he said he'll never live under the oppression of segregation and Jim Crow. So this neighborhood was the only um, place that they could buy land. It's a red line, segregated, all black neighborhood. Um, ever since my father um, brought this land, the first, very first thing he did was clear space for the garden. And, um, and then later, you know, then he built the house, him and my mother and, and her father, my grandfather built this house. And now that I'm an old lady, I see that it impacted me and my um, inheritance from what they left. Um, my father and mother believed in always having a little bit to share. So every year they would put in a garden to um, help the neighbors out with their food bill and get nutritious, healthy food. And since they have been gone, I kept up the tradition. When the pandemic struck and, um, and they kept saying, black people dying more, black people dying more. And then I said, oh, I'm one of them black people. I'm gonna be dying soon. So I said, yo, hold up, slow it down, Avis. You can do something. I don't have to sit in a house and be scared and feel like I'm powerless. I'm, I'm a child of God. He gave me these beautiful hands and gave me this big heart. And I know, I know, how, to, I know how to grow food. That's something I really enjoy. And so I said, okay, I, we always had a garden in my house ever since we owned this land. And I wanted to give it more. And so this would happen. We have the Friends Victory Gardens. But I didn't create it alone. I created with the help of a whole lot of people that feel like I do about equality of everybody. Quakers from across America gave me the things I need. And, um, and if God uh, keep blessing me, I would like to take this parcel of land that I repurpose into a farm and donate it to the township as open space to only grow food for human beings. You know, a legacy that, that I can leave behind. I know that this won't feed all the people that need it, but it'll give, inspire people to do something. Since I started this, I have three front gardens of neighbors that put their own in there and their kids having the joy of working in the dirt and eating what they grew. And I'm rich in that. That's what my mother and father gave me, you know, and I'm giving it to, to the next generations. The start of this wasn't, wasn't a good start. It was fear of the unknown in our nation fear of the discrepancy of black people's lives in America. It seemed like it just spotlighted that. 
you know, in, in my neighborhood, in this black red line neighborhood, people was dying all, all over. And, and I was scared I was going to be one of them. So I paid attention to God. When you when you farm and it's a it's a solitary uh, thing, and down on my knees preparing the beds for the plants, I, I just talked to God as I worked the earth, and and told him my my fears and my 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 worries, and what I hope for the future. I have a rule here: take off the cell phones and the iPads. It's just me and God and you here. This is just a, a, a special place I wanted for my home. And I think I think I created it. Thanks for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every Thursday. You can watch all our videos in this playlist here. You can subscribe to our channel by clicking this button here. You can support us through our Patreon here. Thanks again for watching and have a happy Thursday.